Welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour. I just made the longest video I've ever made. It's 36 minutes long. Hopefully it will not be a problem in the long run. Hopefully it won't be a problem to get that up on the internet. YouTube can be a bit squeamish when it comes to videos sometimes. Ah, uh, hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, let's see here. Smear campaign against our government. 93 divisions. It's growing slowly, but surely. 1936. How the time flies. Some of my experimentation. It's, uh... 30 or so percent away. See, how many tanks do I have on production right now? One, two, two only. One, two, three, four, five infantrymen. Those infantry and those tanks are going to the Prussian region next. Hmm. Something I just thought of. How many land fortifications? One, one, and one. How much will industry will it cost me to build three? Although I should focus on my, my troops alone. Although this would help them hold out until I can move through the Ardennes. And this time I actually do it right. Wow, oh, this is not filling me with hope. That's the problem playing Germany. You don't have any carrier research, and yet I research carriers. Hmm. Could do see play 1937. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Did I fit? Yes, I fitted ASV to these destroyers. Ooh, thought I forgot. Luckily, I didn't. And my timer this time is on. Good. I freak every other video, so I forget it. I don't know why. It just it wasn't in my mind. It was just I was focused on what I was supposed to do. To Italy signed the Pact of Steel. Okay. No one stands in the way any longer of our claim to Austria. Good. Although, even if the Italians did attack us, I don't think they would stand much of a chance. Even if they outnumbered us. Let's face it, during the Second World War, uh, the Italians didn't fare well. Even using legal weapons, they used gas, it was outlawed by most of the nations of this earth. Because it's not exactly the most humane way to go. Good. The Messerschmitts have been upgraded. That's my aircraft. That's my interceptors. See, they're all fully upgraded and right, good to go. Basic anti-tank artillery. Excellent. I built a couple of armored cars, I might as well upgrade them.
Infantry 1936. Yeah, the infantry is being upgraded pretty quickly here now. Oh, well, it's still 200% away. Ah. These are the infantry divisions going to Königsberg. Or to Prussia. This region. This time I'll try to prelay it out more historically. So if I declare war on Czechoslovakia, will I then be able to demand a territory or do I have to kick their ass? I have no idea. Oh, I should build more. There you go. Can I build one attachment that doesn't cost all the IC I have? <laughs> torpedoes. Well, alright, let's build torpedoes for one of our light cruisers. Though it does not... Well, anyway. Basic armored car, yeah, that passed on very quickly, which was not uh, unexpected at all. Search radar is something I need. You have two out of three, that's good enough. You have good skill. We are outnumbering the French at the Maginot Line at the moment. Okay, now it starts the building of the fighters. Okay, I'm gonna need more IC. To build those, that's fine. Czechoslovakia succeeded in stealing the blueprint early light cruiser. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? You don't have any water in which to deploy that light cruiser. I don't get it. Limited investment into some research again. And here are the carriers. Our lifeline. Let's see. Spotter, that's pretty good. Can I... Yes, I could get you to Grand Admiral. Good. Uh... I can't switch out that out with a fighter or any motorized infantry. It's 10 IC, you should be able to do something with it. Of course you could build more infantry. I may also need a new HEQ at some point. How much? 12. Uh, 4. 4. Can't build any tanks either. 12.8. Yeah, more infantry then. Well, yeah, that brought us pretty close. That's pretty good. More upgraded infantry. Now oh, the carrier air groups. Atomic research. More atomic research. He will be missed. Ludendorff. Didn't I have him in command of one of my groups? Apparently not. Wait. Wait a minute. 
Oh, it's you guys. I, I was just like, why do I have a single division standing somewhere without me having them in a group? That's that's strange. Same with modern seaplane. That's the last um, technology I'll divert directly for such things like that. Infantry. Repairs something I would like. Not very likely, it would seem. Early underway replenishment. Give our ships a longer range. Keitel can lead this group. Many people will say I'm wasting time attach uh, having attachments to my infantry divisions. I know a lot of people don't do that. I say that it makes your divisions more effective and it makes up for the few divisions you can build if you don't build them with attachments. Uh, MP Riot Control Trooper told me I should send about 30 divisions to Prussia. Sure, I could do that, but I think that's a little excessive from my point of view. I think that's too much to divert to such a remote area. Either way, even if the enemy take it, we can always take it back. It doesn't matter. The, the poles will fall. It's not... For me, it's not vital. I don't see. So, if you present your case a little stronger, maybe, but by the time you watch this, I've already moved on. I'm always a few steps ahead of you. But I'm learning from what you're saying, from what you're saying. I'm pretty sure that's obvious this term, time around playing. Oh, I'd like to build some fire controls. Wait a minute, what does those ships have? They have any air. Two of them. Okay. They need fire control. They need airplanes. And they need sea radar, which I soon will have. So, I'm wasting a bit of IC now for a little while. Surface radar. Oh god, I forgot about the research. Damn it. Again, yeah, I haven't played the game enough. I should have played it a lot more before. Uh, I have a, I have a research group that can do this much better. So, I'm not gonna waste time. Thirty-eight anti-air. Get to it. Direct ground support doctrine. Strafing. Hmm. Two. Is that all? Two. Okay. Eight. Two. Two. Eight. The Focke Wolf will do the strafing then. Upgraded. Basic light tank. Um, gonna continue down the light tank path. Krupp, I know it's 1939 technology. It's probably gonna be a waste of time. Damn it! I believe last time too that my tank would be a vital, but I never managed to build enough of them last time. Let's start infantry then. If you're gonna waste time on something, let's start it with infantry. I know we're not done with the upgrades from before, but we're never going to get finished completely. I don't think I'm ever going to determine myself that much. Divert so much I see that I can do that. What I will do... Let's see, how much I see do I have left here? I think it's three I see for some anti-aircraft guns. Isn't that right? Yeah, well, I can always get that tiny amount needed there. 
to build those anti-aircraft guns. That's flak that's gonna help uh, reduce bombing damage. And it's gonna help our aircraft over the area as well. 1938. I said this tank division would go over there, but you know what? They're going into the Panzer Division, sending the infantry. 38. 38. March. April. April. Okay, these two divisions, these three divisions, two, two of those divisions go to Prussia. Basic decryption. Excellent. These are very old battleships. Uh, need a lot of upgrades if they're going to be any use to us. Which is why I'm building upgrades for them as well. Okay. Just called strafing. I just finished another infantry division. No, it looked like a tank division then. Definitely a tank division. Maybe not. Either way, it was some division. Build some more cavalry. That's helpful. Especially when they become motorized. There we go. Oh, crying out loud. The motorized division are going with tanks. Good, the first Panzer Corps is almost completed. It's eight transports am right? Yeah. A wise admiral could do that. I'm not sure what to do with these tanks. I know what to do with them. Support the units on the French border. There's gonna be some heavy fighting over there later. Early torpedo has been finished. Give it to the Emden class light cruiser. Will be convoy raiding when the time is right. Ah, that, that was right. That was the right moment, though. Oh. Well, seems like our supplies is the part that's going to bring this industrial empire to its knees because it seems like we continuously need more and more and more and more. Of course, we need more supplies as we build more units, but it takes so much I see right now. Oh well. Hundred and one divisions. Yeah, I feel we're moving faster. More is happening. <sighs> we're waiting for some guy to die here, don't we? I seem to remember that. Now, when it comes to this Dayton land, hmm. if I declare war, I'm gonna get dissent, which I'm not willing to get at the moment. We're in no hurry. I forgot to read what these guys were researching. They were researching some, uh, weren't they? 
Hmm. I'm researching something. Um. Hmm. What's next? Bomber Veteran Initiative. Well, you know what? Why don't you do that, Erich? One minute. Oh, wait a minute. Delay drive. That's 39. Okay. Can you go for it? Oh! Coup in Austria. Chancellor Sias Inquiry Request German Intervention. Can I just demand the territory? Yep, I can. And Austria is ours, people. Yay! No, last time I was betrayed by the Yugoslavs. Not gonna freaking happen twice. Yes, I'm learning. He retires. One cent. We need him three. Oh, no, 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 no. He retires. Definitely. Oh, God. Didn't want to do that. Let's see. I can do a. Oh, yeah. A coup in Austria. The Treaty of Munich. During the summer of 1938, pro-Nazi elements among Czech German determined that the rights of the See Czechoslovakia, blah, 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 enormous trends between Germany and Czechoslovakia. Ah, yes, this is the Sudetenland thing, isn't it? Yes, when can we do this? Okay, in 150 days or so. Is there any mountains over here? Nope, no need for mountain infantry in those areas. Wait a minute, I'm gonna test something. Oh god, you can uh, just. Yeah, this is good. You can uh, press control to move troops like that. I forgot about that for a second there. Yeah, I've never used it before a lot, so. Okay, it's gonna turn useless old ships into a modern firepower monster. Before they had a firing range of 30, now it's 40. Perfect. Anything else I can give them? Um, torpedoes is a possibility, but... Yeah, I want to wait for the radar. Can I... Has service radar been researched yet? Yes, it has. It's to be given to all my surface ready battle thing ships thingy okay we're getting a lot more industry now that Austria is part of our land our country well not a lot more but we got some more and of course need to do some reinforcements I'm gonna put you to 40 let's hope that lasts for a little while at least There you go. And another diplomatic campaign. Then I either do a limited investment. Substantial. Ooh. Limited investment. Into research. This time all my mountain infantry wasn't clubbered into one, which is good. It's going down slowly but surely. The reinforcements, I mean. I don't need any more mountain infantry. I have a plenty. 
Thank you very much. There you go. So, this time I'm having a much better feeling. There you go. Now, I'm gonna move it this way. Ah! Oh, another one. Ah, he retires. Everyone who gives me descent retires. Frick, fuck's sake, I'm not... Yeah, I don't want to lose any more IC. Deploy. Good. And my phone is ringing, so I guess we'll end it here. I see you all next time on Let's Play Darkest Hour.